Hi, let me guide you through the setup process of the D-Link R03 in router mode. To configure the D-Link R03 router, please follow the steps. Connect your internet cable to the WAN port of the router. This port is usually labeled as WAN on the back side of the router. Then, take a LAN cable and connect it from LAN port number 1 on the router to your laptop or computer. Now, open up a web browser on your laptop or computer. In the address bar of the browser, type in the default IP address 192.168.0.1 for the router and press enter. Once you open it, you have to enter the admin password, which is located at the bottom of the router as the device password, and then click on the login button. When setting up the router for the first time, you will be asked to agree to the Terms of Use and Privacy Policy. Read and click on the Agree button to continue. The setup wizard provides options for router and extender modes. Let's focus on router mode for now. Select router mode and click Next to proceed. Now, a setup wizard will appear, providing a step-by-step -step guide to configure the router. Simply click on Next to proceed through the wizard. After clicking Next, the router will attempt to detect the type of internet connection connected to the WAN port. If it identifies a dynamic connection, it will proceed to the next screen for configuring the Wi-Fi name and password. For static IP connections, it will prompt you to enter the IP address and submit mask. Similarly, for triple POA, power over Ethernet, connections, you will need to provide the username and password before proceeding. After entering the necessary information, click Next to reach the following screen. Here, you can input your preferred Wi-Fi name and password before clicking Next to proceed. During this step, you will be prompted to set up an admin password. For simplicity, let's set the password as admin123. Once entered, click on Next to proceed. Select the preferred time zone and click on Next. Select the option Keep my device up to date automatically and click Next. You will then be presented with a summary screen where you simply need to click Next to proceed. After completing the settings, you should be able to access the internet. During this process, you will notice changes in the router's lights. The lights will start blinking initially and then all the LEDs will turn solid white. Once all the LEDs are white, it indicates that you can now access the internet through the router. Once the router finishes configuring and the settings are saved, you should be able to access the internet. Alternatively, you can configure the router using the Eagle Pro AI app, available on Android and iOS platforms. You can re-log in and check the status as follows. Cable status is connected. Connection type is dynamic IP. Network status connected. IP address. Subnet mask. Default gateway. Primary DNS. Secondary DNS. To change the Wi-Fi name and password, simply navigate to the Settings menu and click on Wireless. From there, you can modify the Wi-Fi name and password to your desired preferences. After making the desired changes, click on Save to finalize the configuration. This completes the setup of the router for internet connection. Thank you.